Hello everyone, because you're all busy looking for some waffle pipe and a squirrel for your next sexual adventure, I've created Explain Explained. This time I'm covering Data Ref Editor. Data Ref Editor is a plugin for Explain that allows you to edit Explain Data Refs without making any permanent changes to the structure of the sim. Since the latest version of Fly with Lua blocks all access to Data Refs, the easiest and safest method of doing this now is by using Data Ref Editor. Incidentally, today I'm flying around Gibraltar using tiles downloaded with Ortho for XP. I'm using Autogen scenery and I got the airport free from xplane.org. I'll pop a link in below. Now the traditional shopping list, and you'll be pleased to know that this time it contains only one item. Data Ref Editor is available free from this website. Click on the link for the latest zip, unzip it using 7-zip, drill into the unzipped folder and copy the folder called Data Ref Editor. Go to your Xplain 11 directory, from there go to Resources, and from there go to Plugins. Paste the Data Ref Editor folder into your Plugins directory. You can now start Xplain and get to work. For me, the most annoying issues with Xplain currently are the sea, which looks like it was ported in from vanilla World of Warcraft, and the clouds, which look like they were designed by some sorry arsed indie pixel art dev on a fucking cocaine binge. But these are being worked on by the devs, but in the interim, they really detract from the look of the sim. As you can see here, they look like they were knitted by your grandmother using horse's pubic hair. Our first step is to go to Plugins, Data Ref Editor, and Show Art Controls. Type First Res 3D, click on the number, and change the value at the start from 0 to 3. Take note of your FPS before you press Enter, as you should see a little increase. You'll also notice that the clouds will begin to look more cloud-like. Go back to the bottom of the window, clear the previous text, and type Ambient Gain. Click on Ambient Gain and change it to 1.8, with five zeros at the end. This is a setting you can adjust to your personal taste. You can adjust the number up or down to make the clouds lighter or darker. As always, press Enter when done. Clear the box, type Plot Radius, change the number to 1.4, and press Enter. Clear all text at the bottom, and type Diffuse Gain. Click on the number, change it to 2.4 and press enter when done. Change shadow lighting ratio to 0 0.250 and change shadow size to 2055. Close the window and take a look at the new clouds. From a distance the new clouds look much better, however they do have a couple of curious characteristics. If you look at some clouds suddenly they'll quickly turn around as if trying to preserve their modesty. The second issue occurs when you get close to a cloud, they quickly move away from you like they've heard you're from Newcastle. Even taking those flaws into account, the clouds look far better than the original clouds and are quick and easy to set up. With the clouds fixed, your eyes are soon drawn to the water and how utterly wank it looks. Fortunately, there are two options available. The first is the quick and dirty method. Open plugins, data ref input and show art controls. Type draw FFT water and change the value to zero. I recommend against this method even though it does vastly improve the water. The major problem is if you look down you'll find the reflection of the sun is constantly staring up at you like the fucking eye of Sauron. Therefore the best way to improve the water textures is as follows. Open up the plugin and type water FFT scale. Change scale 4 to 8, 3 to 6, 2 to 1 and 1 to 0. The sun reflection is still present, but it's diffused a lot more in the water. Each time you start a new flight, you will have to enter the numbers, but it only takes about a minute and it's a vast improvement over the vanilla experience. Incidentally, it's worth not pissing off the seagulls and explain they're fucking psychopaths, and apparently they've joined the Islamic State. With that sinking feeling, I thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.